What I do is I get out of bed. Obviously I use the restroom, I drink some water. I am a fan of water with element. Yep. Before I had element packets, I would just take a little bit of, of sea salt. This is important. In the first 10 hours of your day, you should consume eight ounces of fluid. And then the fundamental layer of health is to set your circadian rhythm. The simplest way to do that is to go outside for 10 minutes. And on days that are really densely overcast or maybe even a rainy, you're going to want to get as much as 20 or 30 minutes of sunlight exposure. And what's really cool is that over time, you'll start to notice the sunlight waking you up more and more. The system becomes tuned up. So get that morning light. It sets a number of things in motion, such as your melatonin rhythm to happen 16 hours later to help you fall asleep. I would say this is the fundamental step of any good morning. So then I come back inside and then do my 90 work, minute work bout. And so this 90 minute work bout is a kind of combined meditation, but also functional work for me. It's something that's kind of hard and the thing to understand about this 90 minute work bout is that you should expect some friction early on. It's not like you just flip a switch and you're in. It takes some time to get into this focus mode, but if you can learn to do this 90 minute bout, you will do your best work. And what's really wonderful is if you are actually tuning up and making your neural circuits for focus and attention better. And then the rest of the day just depends on what's happening. Sure. And I think it, it's too varied yeah. to describe. Today, uh, the first task that we're gonna tackle uh, is going to be making sure that when we create a new project in the database or a new entry in the database we need to double check so that we don't create duplicate entries um, what i mean by this is if i name one time entry project and then i name the next one project it shouldn't add two projects it should add two time entries but they should be connected to the same project because the two time entries have the same project name, if that makes sense. That's gonna be the first task. All right, so now I've implemented some logic that will make sure that if we create a new project, here in our time entries, and we name it the same as one of the already existing projects, uh, project one in this case is the only one that exists, then what will happen is this. So we will check if a project with that name already exists. So we'll read projects by name, and if it already exists, then we won't create a new time, a new project in the database but we will just create a new time entry and then connect that time entry to the project in the database, if that makes sense. So we'll get a new, um, a new project in our time entries, but it's just a new time entry, it's not a new project. All right, since the weather is just so amazing, I figured I have to go fishing. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear this or if you can tell, but it turns out 
There's just way too much wind that it's basically impossible to be fishing right now. So um, we're going to have to go back. Okay, so sometimes I just eat whatever I have, and today I just had chicken and pasta, so that's gonna be dinner. It's 8 p.m. right now and I'm gonna go have a sauna. <laughs> 